Welcome back, treasures, and thank you for joining me to all the new faces. I am redoing my altar for Yule today. I'm going to use this Christmas snow drapery. It's kind of just like batting um, with some silver glitter on it. And then this piece of just basic green holiday garland. And then I have these lights that are pine cones. It's going to be great. But first, potpourri. There was quite a nice sale on some apples and oranges. And so I decided to slice them up and dry them out to help them last a little bit longer and bring in some wonderful scents and some wonderful brightness to the space. These orange slices can help represent the sun and help that feeling of the sun is coming back. And that's perfect for a Yule altar. My mom dried out some orange and lime slices for me as well, and I decided to keep those in their own bags and add some essential oils to make the scents even stronger. But for my potpourri, I'm using some other just natural items that I have, some walnut shells, some pine cones, some cinnamon sticks, and then the dried fruit. Now I've put these in an airtight container because I want the scent to stay. I'm going to add a few more pine cones and some more cinnamon sticks and try to mix this up where I don't crush anything. So I kind of toss it and rotate the whole entire bag as I'm kind of shaking it up and down. It already smells pretty good, but I want it to smell really strong and better, so I'm going to add some essential oils. Here I'm adding cinnamon and cedar wood and just one to two drops a piece on different sides of the bag or the container. And then I'm going to close it and kind of toss it around to disperse those two scents a little bit before adding some clove and some orange again only one to two drops a piece now I'm gonna leave this sealed for as long as possible before I take it out of the bag and that's gonna help the scent really soak into all of those items but I have a different plan for these orange and these lime slices and they've been sitting in their containers for a couple of days I've laid them all out into a pattern and then I've sewn some of them together. So I'm just using a piece of string and going through one end of each piece and then just tying them together to kind of make a chain. It's like a citrus chain. So I made five of those chains to use in my altar decorations. And now it's the fun part of decorating. I have no idea what I want to do, just the items that I want to use. So I just kind of put things around and then keep moving them around until I find the perfect spot.
Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this Yule Altar makeover and a little how-to potpourri. If you'd like to see more, be sure and hit that playlist. Until next time, treasures, keep crafting.